corn. All right, so boom, boom, boom. All right, let's do this. Let's see, we got it, we got it. It's hot. Ooh, that gets loud real quick, huh? All right, so starting with those jumping jacks. So we're doing total body to body. I definitely don't need to stretch them out for this one. And uh, all of our workouts this week, I should start off by saying, are really, really varied. Tons of exercises. Wanted to sort of keep the mind working, keep everything super interesting. Um, so a few no repeat workouts. This isn't one of them. We do have some repeats in this one, but a lot of variation today. Four exercises per round. And uh, we're going to sort of flip flop between really concentrated strength exercises and some power moves. So make that switch when necessary. For now, just draw all of your thoughts into your head, into what your body's doing, how you're feeling, and how we're gonna start the Monday off. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Into some light butt kicks here. Nothing too crazy, but just start to get that heart rate up so that the body's warm. And we're sort of in that mode before we jump into our first round. In case you didn't see the post yesterday, our workouts this week and next week because of the holidays are going to be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Potentially a Wednesday of next week, but we're not sure yet. Let's go three. Let's go two. And one, all right, now we switch into those high kicks. Heart rate's up just a little bit. Definitely breathing a little bit harder. Working our way up into that high intensity mode. Taking our time. Again, use this warm up to just bring all of your thoughts into this moment, into your own strength. And we'll concentrate on each rep as it goes. Let's go three, two, and one. All right, knees to chest. Pull it in, big squeeze, open, and drop. If you need a couple of knees to chest without the open to start off with, that is fine. But once you start with that open, really start to exaggerate your movement. Big squeeze in, and then as you open, you want to get as much rotation out of that hip as you can. Let's go one more on each side. Squeeze. Open. All right, nice job. Nice wide stance. Arms up and out to the side. Start with those pulls. Ooh, seems closer today. All right, pull through the fingertips here. What I want you to concentrate here first is on stretching through the sides, through the lower back. So make sure your low back stays nice and straight on this one. You don't want an arch here. All right, now start to pull through the fingertips. Start to focus on the shoulders and the biceps. Let's go three, two, and one. Let's square the hips off. Let's go in for some toe touches. Taking it nice and slow until you feel your lower back, your hamstrings will start to loosen up. They'll start to feel okay with that stretch. And at that point, you can really start to pull a little bit deeper into it. Push your butt back behind you so you're stretching through the hands. Get a little bit of a rotation through the spine as well. We are going through all the good stuff today. Working the, to the whole body, strength, power, stability, we're going to touch on it all. Let's go two, and one, sit up nice and tall, take that deep breath in, reach for the ceiling, push your butt back behind you, reach for the floor, sink into it, and then you're going to start that pedal side to side here, so soft knees, Bending right to left, 
And again, concentrate on where that stretch is coming from. How's your body feeling right now? Where's your energy at? Start to shift your hips back just a little bit here to change the angle of the stretch. Bring forward. Three, two, one. Straighten those legs out. And then you're going to walk the heels in, toes, heels and toes, all the way to the center. Roll those shoulders up to the ceiling. And we're going to do a couple of windmills here to wake up the upper body, right hand to the sky. We're just going to concentrate on that right hand first. So big windmills forward, scooping as much air as you can. Rotating through the shoulder and through the wrist here. Three, two, and one reverse direction. Again, kind of exaggerating all of these movements right now while we're taking it slow and can concentrate. Two, and one. Left arm up to the sky, same deal. Let's take it forward first. Lots of rotation. Scooping air. Let's go three, two, and one reverse direction. Working out any kinks. If there's knots in the shoulders, you're going to know it by now. Three, two, and one. All right, loosen up those shoulders, crisscross. So, no weights needed at all today. We are going to play with body weight. We're going to play with holds. We're going to play with power. Here's what we're going to do. We have two supersets. Hear me out. Two supersets per circuit. So that's four exercises, and it's about a round. We're going to devote two minutes to one superset, two minutes to the next, and then we're done with that round, all right? So we are going to start on our feet, and we're going to start with a pull squat. There's going to be a ton of variation to these exercises, so stick with me, stay in the moment, and again, we're just going to go. Pulse, one pulse at the bottom, and stand up nice and tall, okay? Remember, we're flip-flopping between strength and power, so you're going to have to make that change mentally and physically. Let's go. I don't know how that's too loud for Bruce. I just don't know. So again, plant the feet, whatever position is comfortable for you for a squat. Three, two, and one. We're going to go down one full squat and right back up. Ton of variety throughout, even in the supersets. So stick with it. Make sure you're using this moment to perfect form. Stay back on your heels. Three, two, and one, all right, super set one, we're gonna go into a pop spot here. So, big power out of this next set, 20 seconds, high intensity, let's go. We're gonna put these pop squats right at the start, I'm jumping up, out of that screen, back it up just a little bit, yeah. 10 seconds to go, we're gonna push it this week. Test those bodies, three, two, and one, like we don't push every week, right? Okay, back into the pulse squat, but this time, let's see if we can hold that pulse all the way through the 20 second round. Three, two, and one, we're locked. See if you can hold on to that pulse. If you need to break it any time, stand up, shake the legs out, right back down into the pulse. Take a couple deep breaths in, because you know it's coming next. We have another round of pop squats. Four, three, two, and one, sit up nice and tall and shake it out. Definitely keep the legs moving here. One round of pop squats and squats are done. Here we go. Two and one, big power. High intensity all the way through. Yeah, nice. Feet beat the floor, push all the way through. Woohoo! Feel those legs burning already. Stick with it. Four, three, two, and one, Woo. all right, that's just halfway through one to bottom round. We're gonna switch gears, split stance lunges. Right leg is in front, left foot behind, nice and gentle, just down to the mat, and right back up. These legs are gonna burn at the end of this round. We'll give them a break, we'll take it down to the mat. Stick with it. Three. Two, and one, all right, so same deal. Right leg stays in front, you're gonna go down, pop through the top. In four, 
in three, two, and one. So down and split, lunge, pop. Down and pop. Land it and then go into that lunge. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Push up through the toes. Big power. Four. Push. Three, two, and one. Woo! Switch sides. One minute to go in this round. Left foot forward. Right foot behind. Two, and one. Just the lunge. Down and up. Take advantage of these slower movements to catch your breath. Slow things down mentally and physically. Yeah. All right. Lock in that form. Three, two, last rep here. Up to the top. Shake the legs out. 20 seconds. Add that pop in. And then this leg round is done. Here we go. Split stance lunge with the pop. Boom. Through the toes. Woo! Push it. Yeah. Come on. We're almost there. I know everything's burning. It's burning here too. 10 seconds. Woo! Push it. Three, two, and one. Stand up nice and tall. Shake it out. Woo! All right, listen. Keep the legs moving. Think back in between these rounds right now. Some walking butt kicks. Stretching those quads out. Making sure that heart rate stays up just a little bit. It's going to be one of those workouts where make it all the way through the water bottle. All right, here we go. We're going to give the legs a little bit of a break. Take it down to the mat this time. We're going to start with plank shoulder taps. So back in that gentle, strength-focused exercise, shoulder taps. Okay? Here we go. Hit the mat. We've got 10 seconds here. Heart rate's still up. We want to keep it that way. Everybody up in high plank. Here we go. Shoulder taps. Right to left. Keeping the butt nice and low. So we're going to stick with that super set idea. We have two exercises that we're going to run through twice, and then we're going to leave them behind for good. Three, two, and one. Quick little break. Here we go. Power movement. We're going to get the mountain climbers out of the way right now. So, hitting those mountain climbers. Here we go. Heart rates up. Muscles are warm. So we're just going to go for it here. You're going to keep that butt low, and you're going to drive those knees forward. Shoulders stay over the wrist, so it's a little bit easier to keep the butt low, but your core has to work a little bit harder. Boom. Knees down. Now that the heart rate really is up, take 10 seconds. We're going back to those shoulder taps, okay? So slow things down. Two. And one. Let's go. You guys know the deal with these rests. It's not quite enough to fully recover. It's kind of a little tease, but that's exactly where we want to be for Tabata. That's how you get that fat burn and that muscle build out of one workout. Three, two, and one. Build that strength and get that metabolism up. Here we go. One more round of these mountain climbers, and then we'll leave these two exercises behind. Two, and one. Let's go. Try to play hot potato with your toes. And don't stay on the mat very long. And you're just driving through it. That power push. We're going to wake up the core today for sure. Five seconds to go. Stick with it. We're at two. We're at one. All right, come on down. We're going to switch gears. Suck and superset. Commandos. So that's that high plank. Knee to the same side elbow. So you're twisting into it, right? Boom. And then step it back. Alternating sides here. Right to left. Back and forth. We've got five seconds to go. Feel the core. Feel the shoulders. Two. And one. Quick break. All right. Back to that power move. We're going to go high plank. Pop the toes forward into a bear crawl. So with me, high plank first. You're going to pop the feet forward. Knees nice and close to the mat. Plank. Bear crawl. Plank. Yup. 
Yeah, you got it. Excellent. Woo! So a little bit of power. Still working that control. Still working that core. Two. One. All right, bring it in. We have one minute left to this Tabata round. Core is on fire. Shoulders are feeling it. Stick with me. Two and one commandos. Let's go. Get those obliques working. That knee comes up close up to the elbow as you can bring it. Twist into the foot and step it right back out. Four, three, two, and one. Final break of the round. We have plank to bear crawl. Your shoulders are starting to get on fire. You can go down into that elbow plank, give them a little bit of a break. Here we go. Bear curl, pop it out. Stick with me. We'll take a break in 10 seconds. So stick with it. Power through. You know you can do this. Four, three, two, and one. Walk the toes board, stand up nice and tall, and give those shoulders a little bit of a break. Whew. Those bear curls get you at the end of a round. So definitely grab some water. We're two in, and we have three to go. So when we reach those quieter string training moments, try to use it as that break, right? Big gulp to there. Calming things down. Here we go. We're going to start with a body weight good morning, which means hands behind the head, nice straight back, push the butt forward, and draw it forward. Okay? From there, we're going into a forward jump, walk back. So bring forward, stay low, walk it back. So make sure you have a little bit of space here, okay? So you're not going to bump into things all over the place. So here we go. Heart rate still up. Body is definitely warm at this point. Let's get those hamstrings and glutes a little bit. Fingertips behind the head. Don't pull, just open. Toes, elbows to the side. Push your butt back behind you and up to the top. Exaggerate that stretch a little, right? Push that butt as far back as you can go. And draw your attention to the hamstrings and glutes. That's your muscles who want to do work. Two. And one. All right, here we go. Forward jump, walk it back. I swear I'm going to trip on this. There's no way that I'm not going to. Two and one. Let's go. You're pulling down and walk it back. There you go. And try to match that distance, right? As the legs get tired, you still want to sort of take it as far as you can. And then you're just going to duck, walk it back. Woo! Come on. Let's get that heart rate up a little bit. Three, two, and one, sit up nice and tall and shake it out. All right, we're going back into those good mornings. This time, I want you to have your arms straight up over the head. So, push it back, stretch, and forward. It's just gonna add a little bit of weight to your upper body here. Stretch the weight from the body, a little bit over to the hands and glutes. Three. Two, and one, stand up nice and tall. Here we go. One more set of these forward bounds. That walk back, keep it low. Get those glutes going. Here we go. Forward bound, walk it back. Forward, yeah, excellent. Just stay nice and tall. Yes, love this. Keep it going, 10 seconds, and then this superset is done. Beautiful, three. Two and one. All right. Shake it out. Quick, quick break. Nice wide stance. We're going side to side lunge. Nothing fancy. Slow things down. Here we go. Gentle side to side lunge. You don't have to get too low as we push through this round. Our power movement is going to be a side lunge to that knee up. So you're going to step to the right into the lunge, and then drive the knee up as you stand tall. Two, and one, step. We're gonna step to the right first, starting that standing up, nice and tall position, step to the right into the side lunge, power push up. So, step it out, power push to the top. Yeah, yes, exactly. Boom, yeah, exactly. 
So start to speed it up just a little bit. If you got it in you, you got that momentum down, push it. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, back into that side to side lunge. This time, see if you can get a little bit lower into that movement. Nice wide stance. Here we go. Get a little bit lower if you can. You should be pushing the butt back behind you. Feeling that stretch through the inner thighs, pushing hard through the quads. Woo -hoo, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Stand up nice and tall. We're going to go to the left. Power push up to the top. Take it slow for the first two, and then pick up speed. Let's go. Boom. And push. And then once you feel comfortable there, if you can add a little bit of speed, go ahead and add it in so we get those reps. We really need that power to add speed, right? Boom. Big push. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Heck yeah, nice job. All right. Shake it out. Again, keeping those legs moving here. Couple of butt kicks. Just to stretch through the quads. Heart rates are up. That's where we want to keep them. We're going to head down to the mat for the last two Tabata rounds, okay? So, mat down. Again, no equipment needed other than that. Tilt screens, if you want me to catch and form. Otherwise, we're just going to work. So, we are going to start. We're going to pull a little bit of the cardio out of this one because we're rolling a lot of upper body. We're going to go push up to toe tap is exercise one. And then we're going to go right into a narrow grip cobra push up. Okay? So, we're going to hit biceps, triceps, chest, and core on this. So, start in that high plank position, push up to toe tap. And on this one, you're just going to tap one toe. So push up, one toe tap. Push up, other side. Here we go. Two and one. Let's go. Push up. One toe tap. And then right back to the center. This is a double push up round. So stay with it. Stay strong. Remind yourself with each push that you've got this. Two and one. All right. Hips down to the mat. Chest down. Bring those hands in a little bit closer. Then under the armpits, keep the elbows tight to the body. And we're going into that cobra push up and right back down. You can adjust your hands as needed here. Don't think that just because you put them there, that's where they belong. Adjust to feel the different amount of work. Three. Two, and one. All right, back into that push-up, two toe tap. So big reminder here, you're strong, you've got this. We've got 20 seconds in two, and one, let's go. Push-up, toe tap. Remember, you're thinking nice strong core here, nice straight lines, shoulders to heels, as you push up from the ground. Four. We're almost there. Two and one. All right. Hips to the mat. Here we go. Let's give those triceps one last kick. Two and one. Let's go. Up into that cobra push ups and right back down. We're going to hit a little bit of core next. And again, from the mat. So we don't have to transition up onto our feet. It's a very quick rest period. Remember, three, two, and one. All right, no time to contemplate the push-up. You're going to roll it over to the left side. We're going up into a side plank. Elbows on the mat. Reach up towards the ceiling. So we're going to stick to this side for the, these two to bottom rounds. We're going to start with that side plank. When the timer goes off, all I want you to do is drop that lower knee, the left knee, to the mat. Because we're going to decide crunches next. Three, two, and one. All right. Knee goes down. We're going into those long crunches. So reach that right hand right up over your head. You're going to bring the elbow to the knee. Let's go. Boom. And out. 
See if you can keep that right foot just up off the ground. Stretch. Yeah, awesome. Hips and shoulders stay facing forward. So we will here again, those obliques. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the hip, flip it over to the other side. Let's finish it up. 60 seconds in this round, and then we only have one more set to go. Up into that high plank, reach the hip right up towards the ceiling, and hold. Giving the body a run for the lungs this morning. Looking so strong. Five seconds to go, then you're gonna drop that right knee down to the mat. Two, and one, all right. Right knees down. You're gonna reach that left arm right up over the head, past the head, I guess. Here we go, two, and one, crunch it into the center, and reach. Think about the strength. Not the time physical that it takes to get through a workout like this and you're crushing it. 10 seconds to go. Come on, we're coming up on that next break. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, hips to the mat. Take a couple of seconds to stretch it out. We have one round to go. We're gonna stay on the mat. We're gonna finish up with some glutes, some core, a little bit of cardio in there. This isn't when we come in for leg day tomorrow. We really know that we're working hard, right? So again, classes this week and next week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, okay? Because of the holidays. So, last round, down on the mat. So we're gonna start with glute kickbacks, bear hold jacks. We're gonna be back in that bear hold position with the knees nice and close to the floor, and we're gonna do that jump out into that sort of floor jack, right? But we're gonna start with right side glute kickbacks. We have 10 seconds to get ourselves in the gear. Remember, this is the last go around, the last to bottom round, so really put everything you got into it. Right side only, take it back and draw the knee back to the mat. Go hard when you can. Concentrate everything you got on the core muscles right now, the lower back, the glutes, the abs, all the way through it. Three, two, and one. All right, bear crawl jacks. So those knees stay close to the ground and you're gonna pop it out, jack and in. So knees up. Here we go. Out, in, out, in. This is it for cardio. So see if you can sort of push that pace a little bit. They aren't pop squats, but they're still going to get your heart rate going a little bit. Ten seconds to go. All the way through. Stick with it. Come on. We got this. Three, two, one. Knees to the mat for a quick break. Glute kickbacks left side only. Let's get through this superset. Here we go. Start those kickbacks. Tension on the glutes the whole time. Keep that lower back nice and straight. And draw the abs in towards your spine. Don't forget. Squeeze all those muscles. Five seconds to go. Kick it up. Yeah. Two. And one. All right. Last round of these bear crawl jacks. Take a deep breath in. Go ahead and lift those knees just up off the mat. Here we go. Out, in, out, in. Knees stay nice and low. Core stays tight. Butt stays low. It's going to pop up a little bit. These are jacks. Need a little power. Keep the body moving here. Come on. Last little push of cardio. Three, two, and one. All right, knees to the mat. Here we go. Last superset. We're going right arm, left leg, bird dog. So focusing on the core here. You're going to reach right arm out, left leg, and then bring it to the center. Out and bring it in. Reach as far away from the body as you can. Your muscles are tired here, so part of this game right now is stabilizing on a single arm. Two. And one. All right, here we go. We're going for some isometric movement. Left side. We're going to do that fire hydrant to rotation, but you're not going to bring the leg down. So with me, fire hydrant up to the left, rotate to the back, 
and then rotate back to the fire hydrant. So you're keeping that knee up in line with the spine and really just requiring that left glute to do some twisting to hold some strength. Three, two, and one. Bring it in. Nice. All right. Left arm, right leg. We're going in for that bird dog. In two, and one. Let's go. This is it. This is our 60 seconds of work left. Bell. We're going to power all the way through to the end. Muscles are definitely a little shaky. A little sweaty here. Woo, come on. We're almost there. Two. And one. All right, so right side. You're going to go up into hot hydrant. Rotate the hip. And then back and forth in that rotation. So we're up. Rotate. Back to the hydrant. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. And really what you're going to feel is that glute muscle sort of contract and stay in that contracted form and just twist. You can feel it working. Three, two, and one. Bring it in and sit it all the way back on your heels in child's pose to stretch those glutes out. That's where we're going to start since that is where we left off. You guys, amazing workout. Really, really well done. So much strength across the board. Form was awesome. No better way to start a Monday. All right, sitting back in that child's pose. Stretch through the glutes. Taking deep breaths in here. Just imagine... The oxygen releasing those muscles, calming things down. Go ahead and take your right arm and scoop it under the left armpit. I don't want a phone call right now. Come on. We can talk later. All right, so that right arm is under the armpit. Let yourself sink into it. Reach back to the center. And you're going to scoop that left arm under the right armpit this time. Just really gently lowering the body down to the shoulder to stretch through. And back to the center. All right, go ahead and bring it up onto all fours, just so you're comfortable here. I just want to do a couple of open. So what we're actually going to do is I want you to put your right hand on the back of your head, and you're just going to open to the right side and back to the center. Open to the right. Let's go three. Two. One, both hands on the mat, go ahead and switch sides. That left hand on the back of your head, we're going to do five this side. So go ahead and rotate to the left and center yourself. Here we go, three. Two. One. And back to the center, both hands on the mat. Go ahead and step it out quickly into the plank just so that you can lower your hips to the mat into cobra or half cobra, whatever is comfortable for you. So if you're more comfortable, you can get more out of the stretch down on your elbows, then go there. Shoulders down and back here. If you want to let all of the tension out of that neck and just let the neck, the head roll nice and slow here. Going in both directions. All right. When you're ready, slow the head roll down. Tuck the toes under and pull the hips up towards the ceiling into that down dog. Go ahead and start that soft pedal. So soft knees, alternating sides. Pushing one heel back as we straighten so that you just feel that stretch through the calf muscle. Three. 
And one. Strain both legs up and then go ahead and relax the shoulders. Walk the toes towards your hands. Into forward. And you're just going to this time, instead of just thinking about your neck, just let all of the tension out of your upper body. When you're ready, go ahead and roll those shoulders up towards the ceiling. Big shoulder rolls back behind you. Three. Two. And one. And then just let go. Loosen up those shoulders. You guys kicked butt this morning. Whew. Who's calling me? I feel so popular.